First of all, it's a compliment. Uh, let's come congratulate them on a, an excellent performance. Uh, we didn't have any answers. Uh, we got on a roll and we never got our footing, so we compliment them and congratulate them. Uh, I did think that our guys showed a lot of character in not mailing it in, which I didn't expect they would. Um, but it's, it's, it's a hard one to take, and uh, we'll have to try to regroup and move on from here. Well, Joe, you did get your footing a, a bit when uh, you know, the press was working and Zach, of course, was on fire, Brandon was on fire. You were within six. Uh, I, I, I thought you were going to end up pulling this thing out. Were, were you feeling pretty good about it at that point? Well, we had a couple of bad possessions point? after that, and then there was a three-point play. Um, you know, we gave up, and that, that sort of sealed it a little bit. And we, I mean, there was a couple plays here and there that, that we'd like to get back. I, I talked to one with uh, Bucklin. The shot clock's going down. He's up around Banked the three-point line, and it just banks it in. Yeah, it it shoots 65%. And they made some tough shots. I mean, uh, Matthews was unbelievable in the first half, made some tough shots, and uh, they got some offensive confidence, and we never really were able to answer it. Did, did they do anything different in the first half? I mean, they were just picking you guys apart in the first half. Uh, they're good offensively, and they got on a roll, and they've been playing well, and they, they played very, very well today. What was the message at the half? Chip away. I mean, we talked about there's been bigger comebacks this year, the Delaware Drexel deal, and um, you know, let's try to win these first four minutes and see where we can get ourselves. Well, these two guys beside you, they uh, did a hell of a job in trying to get you guys back in it. I mean, they did. They, they battled, and you know, we uh, put ourselves at too much in harm's way, and we tried to get back, but we're too far down. Where does Brandon rank when it comes to the all-time players here at FGC? Oh, he's obviously, you know, among the best we've had, and. Um, you know, he'll be remembered for that, and I think the guy sitting next to me on the other side is going to be remembered for that too. Brandon, are there any type of moral victories? Obviously, this is it. You guys couldn't pull out what you set out to do, but to be down 32, to get this crowd back in it, to have to be able to play in front of them like that one more time? Uh, no, it's not any more victories because we didn't pull it out. But I do appreciate our fans for sticking in there with us uh, throughout this whole season. You know, the ups and downs, uh, we couldn't pull it out. But, you know, they you know they showed some some grit and they stayed with us. Uh, our coaches, staff, they, you know, they stayed with us. You know, we all, we tried to, you know, stick together um, in the second half and just like keep chipping away, like I said, but we just couldn't pull it out. And, you know, against good teams like that, you, know, you got to come out strong first half, second half, you know, you got to string together two halves and, um, uh, you know, just play hard. Zach, Zach, how, Zach, how was there any, well, I mean, you know, the odds of teams coming back from as far as you guys were, were pretty slim. How was there any real belief at halftime? And what's that say about you guys that, that you came as far as you did in the last tournament? I believe in everybody in that locker room. I, I believe everybody in that locker room has my back. To, to, for anybody to give up, that means they'll be giving up on me. And I doubt that they'll ever give up on me, and I doubt that we'll ever give up on each other. So there was never any doubt. We just believe in each other. And unfortunately, we didn't pull it up. What, uh, Brandon, the first 20 minutes, what, what was going on there? They were, you know, they was hitting some, some, some tough shots. Uh, but like I said, against a good team, you can try to, you know, just pick it up whenever you want to, you know. Um, it was just coming off screens, hitting shots, and uh, you know, we wasn't defending like we were capable of, in my opinion. And, um, you know, they made a couple tough shots, but um, I think we could have eliminated that if we just you know, picked up our energy a little bit more in, at the beginning. Joe, it seemed like at about the, about the six minute mark, <clears throat> after 10 minutes of running the press like that, it seemed like the guys started to lose their legs a little bit. Is that just, is that what you saw? It seemed like they were just kind of worn out. From we got tired. I mean, we plan having to come back from that deficit and then obviously didn't help with having guys in foul trouble and when you're pressing, you can't play big. Yeah, how devastating was it when Zach fouled out? And that, was a, that was a hard one and then, I mean, we had, Three guys foul out, so I mean, that's hard. Be able to, you know, the NIT is not everybody's dream. You, uh, you be able to regroup with these guys, and you know, you, you still you go to the final four. Up There's a hundred teams still cool. playing. I, it, it's, you know what? I, I think the 
for our program and, and being five straight or six straight postseason tournaments for as young program as we are, that's it's it's is this de, uh, demoralizing? No, it's disappointing. So I think these guys have character. No, we'll figure something out. Yeah, I got one actually. I'm sorry, Zach. Why did you take this so hard? It looked like you were taking it really hard at the end. Was it just letting down the seniors a little bit, and not getting able to send them out on top? These guys are my brothers. These seniors, especially CT, and we came here together, and I feel like, I feel like we didn't we need to send them off for you. Yes, we got the NIT, but they just mean they mean everything to me. These are my brothers, you know. Trey and Brandon, they just they just, they just honestly mean everything to me. You know? Spending the amount of time with these people that I do, that the coaching staff does, you you form a bond, and uh, it just hurts seeing disappointment. You know? That's why I'll take it that hard. Brandon, to hear that from Zach, you know, obviously, that's a guy that even if the season is over, this is someone you're presumably be friends with for quite some time. Definitely, that's my brother. You know, I wouldn't, you know, trade him for anybody. Uh, unfortunately, we had to, you know, go out this way, but I think it's a learning stone for him next year to, you know, lead his guys. Um, do all you can to just, you know, to come out on top. It's not easy, you know. It wasn't easy for Liskin. It wasn't easy for any team to get here, to get to where they, they were. And, um, you know, I trust that he'll, will, everybody in that locker room will learn from what just happened. Nobody wants to feel that. And like Coach said, it's not the end of the world. You know, we still got games to play, but I think we hold ourselves, you know, to a higher standard than most people do, and I think that's why this program is so successful because we don't settle for, you know, settle for average, settle for second place. And I think these guys will have a chip on their shoulder going into next year. Coaching staff will, you know, have a chip on their shoulder as well, and everything, everything is going to be all right.